Workday Extend, how to build people and uh, money apps with low-code tooling. This is a pretty exciting presentation. My name is Stephen G, uh, product manager on the Extend team. One of the things I just want to call out is I will be talking about some future-looking things. So just make sure you understand that as you go into your buying. Um, if you have any questions, let us know. If anyone has any questions on what Workday does, I'm going to look at you. Are you familiar with Workday? Oh, it's okay. I'll educate you. So let's talk about what Workday is. Workday is an enterprise cloud for finance and HR. And so the one thing that you want to think about is as we continue to grow the platform, we're on the same level as like AWS. Think about how many transactions we're actually doing. In this particular case, it's 629 billion, a customer satisfaction of 97%. And then we have over 50% of the Fortune 500 uh, companies who are part of Workday. So pretty large. When you think of us at scale, same thing as what you would see in AWS. Now, when we look at this, we see the thing between Workday and AWS. How does the partnership work together? It's actually been a long-standing partnership. It's actually been 10 years. We start out with running AWS. Or like, obviously, Workday is the, has deployments within AWS. The other thing that we have is we have a private listing in the marketplace for Workday itself. But that's not all. We're going to continue to grow the partnership as we go forward. And that's one of the things that I'm going to talk about today. I'm going to segue to talking about Workday Extend. And that's a lot where the collaboration and the partnership is going to come in. We'll touch on that a little later. But what I want to cover here is Workday Extend is essential for people and money. And what do I mean by that? You're going to see three things. It's the right time, right? It's the right place, and it's the right, it's the right platform. And I'll go through each one of those as we go through going forward. So let's start. Workday Extend is the right place, right? Those were one of the three that I talked about very early on. Why is it the right place? When you look at these systems, you see Workday really in the middle. You see we have AI, we have integrations, we have security, we have core data. But now you look at these other systems that you're leveraging. You have supplier managed requisitions. You have employee rewards, sales opportunities. They all have their separate systems. They have their own security, their syntax, their data modeling. They're all independent. What does Extend do that makes it a lot easier? Now what we can do is we can take all of those things and bring them into the Workday ecosystem. So now you can, from an IT perspective, it's a lot easier to be able to manage. You're managing everything from within Workday, right? You don't have to worry about these separate systems that you're going out, clicking on, and doing other things, worrying about separate security models. It's all gone away. Now, next I'm going to talk about the right platform. And what do I mean by the right platform? So extended from the core, things that you have like your UX, your data, your business processes, all that is interconnected into this. You have security and trust that's built in. So you can adhere it, your audit controls, your auditing, all that information is all within there. And then it's interconnected. So when you think about API compatibility, you can connect these API tools into Workday and with the Workday Extend. And so that is why the platform itself is obviously built in and, and it works very well. But now you're going to say, OK, you've talked about this. What are some things that I actually want to start to think about? And when I think about those things, you're going to think about three things. And those three things, if I want you to really talk away from anything, first one is consolidation. So when I want to get rid of those legacy items. You want to think about how do I reduce leveraging spreadsheets? From a spreadsheet, then I have to go to this hierarchical uh, portion. You don't want to have to deal with that. Second, agile response. Think about where we were you know, five years ago. Would anyone have thought of we have to worry about a pandemic? Absolutely not. Would you think about a war in Ukraine? No. The other thing that you would see is think about ransomware attacks. When you think about ransomware attacks, these are things that you have to react to very quickly and very agile. And that's one of the things that you'll see. And I'll, I'll give a great example of that. Lastly, innovation. Think about something which you've never thought about before. It's unique to your specific organization. That's where innovation is going to come in. And so I'll touch on a couple of use cases that we have here. I'll start with St. Luke's. So they've actually gone on and built three apps. And one of their apps was actually something that happened in a ransomware. They got attacked. It hit their time and tracking system. It took it down for over two months. What St. Luke's was able to do was they were actually able to go out and build out their application in three days, 
get their system back up and running and make sure because their payroll data and their data was with Workday, they were able to integrate that back with their application and make sure their employees were actually getting paid out. Now, no one would have thought of that before or thinking about building out a Workday Extend application. That's the power of what you're seeing with an agile response. Next, people are probably familiar with this. You probably, Black Friday, maybe you've even shopped with it. In the last week, I will be a fan and I will admit that I did go to Target this last weekend. It's a great thing to be able to have. One of the things that we've seen is that they've been able to build out 10 apps since they've actually gone live with Workday Extend. And Target is very centered on building out their employee loyalty. You can imagine in a retail space, you're concerned about, is someone going to stay? How do I recognize my employees? What they've gone and done is they actually went and built out an application which centered on employee loyalty, and they got rid of the old spreadsheet and the old hierarchical um, leveraging that they had to do before. So if you think about it, I had a spreadsheet that says, yes, I want to nominate or give a reward to someone. On top of that, now what's going to happen is that now it has to, because it's compensation, it has to go to my manager, who then has to go approve it from another manager. But they were able to bring this into the Workday ecosystem and make it so it's a seamless experience. So now they can go and nominate their employees, go through the flow because the hierarchical data is already within Workday, and move forward as they went forward. So next, I want to touch on how we are going about leveraging low code. One of the things that you'll see is we'll give a demo here of Page Builder, but we also want to see how do we enhance our low code tooling. So there's other things that we'll do, and I'll talk about these here. So let's take a look at this example here. So what's going to happen is we've already created an application. I've gone in and modified it. This is App Builder. What I have here is a specific business object. I can go and create new business objects. I can modify business objects. I can modify and take uh, fields. I can go in and I can do this all through a UI that's hosted within the dev site. And now this is talking about Page Builder. And so what Page Builder is doing is I can actually start to build a page within the dev site itself and make modifications. So in this place, you can see they have a checkbox. They've decided to change it. They don't want to make it required. They want to make it required. It's a drag and drop experience. You can go in and you can add specific sections in as you're going forward. So here you'll see they're adding in a checkbox. They've created a label. They want to make it required. And so they'll go ahead and click on that. And they say, hey, look, I don't like where it is anymore. I actually want to move it down. So they wanted to move it down. But what's important is, OK, the rendering on the right hand, or on my left hand side, you want to be able to see that right away. And so that's what App Preview did, is it was able to render that information on that other side. And now here, you have a generate component. This is a new functionality that we were launching. This gives you the ability to be able to build out um, code without even having to worry about doing the code itself. And so what's exciting about this is they've gone in, created a component, and it's already generated with a matter of clicks. They've already generated the code for you. So when you think about you know, AI and the tooling, this is mind changing, right? As a developer, I no longer have to really worry about hey, how long is it going to take? Do I have to create all these templates? I don't have to do that anymore. I can just go in, create a baseline. Workday will help you set it all up and so you don't have to worry. And it will be able to change that and render it for you. The nice thing that you have here is it's twofold, right? I can take it from a visual perspective or I can go in and take it from a code perspective. So we're helping to build that development experience. We're helping to shortening that time. We're working with our customers and our developers to make your life a lot easier, be able to build out applications a lot faster. Now, let's talk about AWS and the partnership, right? I talked about that early on. We've gone in and enhanced our partnership, and now within Workday Extend, we're being able to leverage Workday AWS AI services, Amazon Comprehend, Translate, TextTract, and Recognition. So we have the ability to be able to take Extend applications and leverage these AI services. Now you're going to say, hey, that's pretty cool. You gave me demos earlier. The proof is in the pudding. What can I see? What can we do? And I've got a great use case for you for being able to see that. Chevron. I'm sure many of you are familiar with Chevron, right? Multinational organization. Their main focus is centered on energy and oil. What they've done is they're very centered on building out a uh, leadership program nomination. That is kind of the top of the line for their employee experience. 
They want to continue to build out leadership, make sure that there's nominations, appropriate people are getting there. And so what they did is they developed an application so that they can take any, uh, you could write in text, you can translate that, that into a various language. So in this particular example, you could imagine, hey, I am a multinational company. I work in, you know, I don't know where Asbor Jayani is, and you could say that 10 times fast, and I'll probably mess it up each time. But one of the things that you'll see is they've taken the text, they've translated it to Asbor Jayani, and then they've actually done that at the very bottom. So imagine now you can write in your own native language, and then you can have that translated and put into the nomination system so that someone who, let's just say, is only English speaking can understand what's happening. And that's game changing. When you think about that, it gives you the opportunity to like, hey, I'm proficient in, you know, English, I'm proficient in Spanish or Japanese or Chinese. I have that ability to go in, put it in my native language, have it translated and uploaded into that system. And so that's what Chevron did. And for anyone who can speak Asbur Jayani, I can guarantee that this bottom half here is actually translated correctly. Um, so that's one of the things that Chevron did is they did that, they checked it and they said, yes, that's correct. Uh, so it's pretty nice to be able to see. Now, we're only as good as our developer community, right? And so one of the things that you want to see is, how do I build that community? And you'll see here, we have our great developers all working together. They're doing a little heart sign. I'll do it for everyone here. Um, and what we've done is we've actually built out a community. We have developer forums. We have tooling. You have uh, tutorials that'll help you get up to speed, get you familiar with leveraging how to use the de uh, developer site how to help you build applications within Workday. And then on top of that, there's a conference, very similar to like this, where it gives you the capability to come together, talk amongst yourselves, learn, and be able to continue going forward.